Are you creating thyroid problems by taking too much iodine? You know, many people out there are taking high doses of iodine. I see a lot of holistic doctors prescribing high doses of iodine supplementation. And this actually can be very problematic. You see, your thyroid, when it uses iodine to make thyroid hormones, it needs just a very specific amount. The recommended daily allowance is 150 micrograms for adults. Now, this is just the minimal amount of iodine you need to prevent iodine deficiency. You certainly can get more than that, but there are people taking mega doses of iodine supplementation. I see people taking 10,000 micrograms or more a day. And this can predispose you to problems because many studies now show that excess iodine supplementation can lead to things like hypothyroidism, like autoimmune thyroid, where your immune system starts to attack your own tissue. And there's been many studies now demonstrating this. So you gotta be very careful when you're supplementing iodine. Now, on the other hand, if you don't have enough iodine, then of course you can run into problems too, because again, iodine is required to make the thyroid hormones. In America, people who tend to be deficient in iodine are people who are vegans and those who avoid iodized salt. Now, you can take the guesswork out. You can do urinary testing. There are blood tests for iodine, but the most accurate testing is urinary because your kidneys break down 90% of your iodine and then it's excreted out through the urine. So urine testing is the most accurate way to check for iodine. So again, if you're one of these people taking a lot of iodine, you've got to be careful with that because again, it predisposes you to having thyroid imbalances. You're taking iodine to try and help your thyroid metabolism. So do not take excessive amounts of iodine. We know in some studies up to 2000 micrograms for people who don't have thyroid problems, aren't predisposed to having thyroid problems like autoimmune thyroiditis. Generally that tends to be okay. But for most of my patients, we stick around that 200 to 300 microgram a day mark, especially if you're not vegan, especially if you're not avoiding iodized table salt. And so that's very important. Well, I hope that helps you recognizing the dangers of excess iodine supplementation. For more videos on nutritional therapies and for treatments for hypothyroidism, see the videos on my YouTube channel.